Let's talk about Marvell and their new Structura product, which is all about solving memory challenges for cloud using CXL. Yeah, let's jump in, baby. Yeah, this is, I, I think sometimes uh, you use long post uh, warning. This is gonna be a deep dive warning here. So first thing I need to do is give kind of a backdrop of some things that are going on in the infrastructure world. And we know infrastructure is cool. So uh, CPU cores are going up, but memory bandwidth per core and per socket is going down. And what happens is you get idling, right? You're not getting the full use um, of it. And it's hard to have giant memory uh, planes to be able to put enough memory to be able to serve those cores. And this is important in almost every application, but um, um, stuff like AI inference and in-memory databases is becoming true. And uh, so just some examples, like AMD Epic has 256 cores, uh, Genoa, I think the code name is, Intel Sierra Forest, 288 cores. Uh, Ampere One, they just announced, uh, well, they announced 256 uh, cores. So, so pretty crazy. Um, the first server, I, I hired the first AMD Opteron product manager uh, at AMD, uh, one core. So, and that uh, might give you an idea of how crazy that was. That was 20 years ago. So enter a new techno technology that has been in the works for, gosh, five, six, seven more years called CXL. And CXL is called, uh, stands for Compute Express Link. Okay. And there's different versions of it, uh, huge consortiums that have gone in or do that. And CXL 2.0 allows memory pooling and network switching. Okay. So think of one giant planar memory surface. Uh, think of, um, uh, using memory like we do storage right where you can uh, just add a ton of it uh, uh in a in a rack um and think of you know there's this memory and storage pool think of cxl bridging the gap between memory and and flash okay uh so you can think of memory per socket over three terabytes memory bandwidth 100 gigabytes uh per second okay i'm gonna get i'm getting here okay that was the groundwork so Marvell brought out uh, three chips across two families under the brand of Structura. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Structura A is all, um, uh, all about uh, scaling compute and memory bandwidth, okay? Uh, some real interesting uh, case study uh, they did in their presentation in the press release about recommendation engines. They didn't call out Meta or Amazon, but when you think about serving ads and serving up uh, products for people to buy or friends to follow, that is all about a recommendation engine. You want very tight coupling between the CPU and even, even the inference GPU. So I think of Meta and I think of Amazon here and more. The wild part, is this just this isn't just an accelerator chip. It has 16 Neoverse V2 cores. That's big cores for all those out there. Um, 100 watts, five nanometer. Second uh, product line is Structura X. This is all about memory capacity. There's two versions of this, one for DDR4, one for DDR5, 30 watts. Um, the cool part is like, well, why DDR4? you can take all of your investment that you had in DDR4 uh, in, in DIMMs, plop this into a Structura X uh, capable uh, server, and boom, you can pool and reuse all that memory. And of course, it supports DDR5 as well. So other players in, in this CXL storm, Samsung Semi, Micron, Astera Labs, uh, Broadcom with retimers, um, it's, 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 it's cooking. By the way, this is just one of these things that we sometimes take for granted. This is CXL has been, um, in play for so many years, uh, but it's getting more real folks. Wow. That was super nerdy, but this is the area where a company like Marvell that's, uh, really been focused on accelerated infrastructure. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, yes, they are they are building. Uh, they are one of the two XPU companies. So when you're hearing about these various companies building AI 
accelerators or specialty AI chips. It's going to be either Broadcom or it's going to be Marvell in the in the in the background. And accelerated infrastructure is going to be critical because it's it's really dealing with everything from like you just talked about CXL and memory pools and being able to get more out of your the the limited capacity of uh, an availability of high bandwidth memory to being able to you know create network efficiency, power efficiency. So when they're talking about accelerated infrastructure, they're not just talking about you know switching, they're, but they're really talking about how to maximize and and create great levels of efficiencies and uh, get the most performant infrastructure as AI is going to continue to have really challenging economics and challenging power uh, envelopes on the entire grid, on the entire world. So, Pat, I think you hit the technical stuff pretty well. I mean, I kind of think about it. I used a, a really simple analogy, you know, back from my earlier days in my career when I was in, in, in video compression. But the whole idea of, you know, I don't know if you remember H.264, but the ability to take, you know, uh, twice the quality, half the, you know, same, twice the quality, same uh, amount of bandwidth or same quality, half the bandwidth. You know, the idea, though, of trying to figure out how to get more out of the same amount of memory is going to be a problem that companies are going to try to solve. It sounds like that's what CXL, that's what they've been trying to do. I, I would say, Pat, it's interesting because this has been a bit of a stop start trend line. You know, it's like we'll hear about it a bunch. And then. I don't hear about it. I remember two, like about two years ago, I feel like I did like five or six different press interviews all about with CXL and what's it going to do and how is it going to change. And then, and then like, I don't feel like I've heard anything. And then all of a sudden it's kind of popping back up, but it makes a lot of sense right now with HBM. And of course we know <laughs> right now that um, there, this is the, you know, we talk about the limiting factor being, you know, co-os and the limiting factor being uh, amount of, of, of process uh, and, and capacity with TSMC and others, but HVM is another limiting factor of AI. It just is. You, you can only make so much if you don't have enough. Benefit. So dealing with this, figuring out technologies that enable us to get more out of the bandwidth uh, that we have, the memory that we have is going to be important. So I'm not going to nerd yeah, out and, anymore. It, it, oh, and, and by the way, it wouldn't be uh, Pat Moorhead without talking about the infrastructure quadrangle, or as you say, the, the, the infrastructure square. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, and that is, as technology moves forward, we need to make sure uh, compute, storage, uh, memory, and networking are all aligned. Um, otherwise, it, it's hard to to get any any innovation without uh, doing some you know weird things like uh, HBM. 